Hey, hello, Gamer Nam is back. And in this video, we're going to finally awaken a hidden ability, summon a sea beast in Black Fruits. Before starting, show your support by using Starcode Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Starcode, I get paid. And one more thing, shout out to First Sin in Luke and to all the supporters of this channel. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Hi guys, so it's been a while, no updates yet, but I'm still playing the game from time to time. And in this video, guys, I finally awakened a hidden ability, and that is someone a sea beast. So the requirement here is you need 10 million bounty. Yes, that's a lot, right? So for now, I have 9.9 .9 million. Don't worry, we'll be reaching 10 million later. So guys, let's head to the cafe first and show you some of the other benefits of having a high bounty. So for higher bounty players, you will be having a higher defense and damage in PvP. That's true. So guys, the proof here, we have the bounty on our expert. There you go. You can also increase your damage and defense by becoming a marine, okay? But via honor expert. Okay, so every 500,000 points, there you go, your damage and defense will increase. So again, the higher the bounty, the higher your attack and defense bonus will be. So as you can see, I have plus 24% defense and 16% damage. So again, guys, we need less than 100,000 bounty points to unlock this skill. And for me, guys, I have lots of alt accounts, right? I have, I think, more than 20 to 30 plus alt accounts that I can uh, keep on defeating every 72 hours cooldown. So let's head to the first C and defeat some of my alt accounts. So guys, if you want an alt account, I don't know. I, I think I, I said it on my previous video. At 1 million uh, subscribers, I will be giving out max level accounts. As you can see here at the jungle, I have here my account Zorya Yarn, controlled by my brother. Yes, this is, I think, not a max level, but 2,300 or 400 uh, three, true triple katana user as you can see there you go so let's defeat this one again we just need less than 100,000 uh, points so every time you defeat one I go easy fight <laughs> especially when someone is not attacking right <laughs> free kill so again guys uh, it's really hard to grind bounties why because every time someone sees me the public server and I kill them they called me bully something like that so I just decided to defeat my other alt accounts anyways so while defeating my alt accounts I'm gonna show you my favorite combo okay so let's head here to the third C yes I am here at the third C and at the turtle entrance there you go so guys you need portal fruit plus CDK first dual katana and eclaw in order to do this combo so the hardest one here is the CDK right because you need uh, two swords, what do call this? The Yama and the uh, Tushita, 400 mastery or 350. I can't remember. Do lots of quests to get this sword. For my combo, you will start with X skill portal and then the C skill Eclo, Z skill portal, Z skill CDK, X skill CDK, then Z and X skill Eclo. Okay, so let's try it. There you go. There's an enemy mob. Okay. Wait, what? What happened? I think we got glitched out. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna try it on one of my alt accounts. So guys, let's head to the first C again. Why first C? Because again, guys, uh, I used to, I call this, use the gacha, right? Get new fruit. So if you get a good fruit, I can give it to one of my new alt accounts and we can grind a new level one account, okay? So that's my reasoning on that. So let's hope, get back to the first C. Coliseum and our enemy here will be a Venom Panga account. Okay, so again guys, X skill. There you go. So we're gonna start with a C. Boom and Z. There you go. And uh, Z skill CDK. Oh. Sorry, sorry. One more time, guys. One more time. So guys, you need to be fast with this one. And again, I'm telling you, I rarely do bounty hunts. There you go, guys. See that? Very easy. Also, because of the bounty, I have increased damage. So, I don't need to use my whole combo on a level 2400 account. Okay, guys? 
again if it has low bounty very easy again c z and yeah there you go that's it i think yeah just two skills and that's it yes we finally awakened a hidden ability guys if you didn't notice it the moment we defeated venom panga there you go you've awakened a hidden ability and again i am referring to the summon sea beast so again one more time with the combo c skill z portal z skill cdk and x skill actually it's already dead there you go so one more reminder guys you cannot summon a sea beast in the first sea okay so there still there are no sea beasts in the first sea and only do this on the second sea so let's head to the second sea there you go also i told you a while ago that every 500 000 bounty points right you will increase your damage and your defense so let's head yeah there you go guys see that 10 million bounty let's head to the expert and check our uh, damage and defense buff there you go guys 25 percent defense plus 16.6 percent uh damage okay now let's try and summon one sea beast there you go just uh get near the sea there you go and that's it so gamer no question is this useful hmm guys uh let's try if this one can do damage on both uh pvp and grinding mobs so guys as you can see i have another account here red kaido one of my accounts there you go we can damage it now let's summon a sea beast go so guys if if this one can damage my alt account this will be good because again if you're fighting someone near the sea you can always summon a cb so you can damage your enemy wow guys check that out 2868.7 i don't know where the damage of this cb is based on there you go again you can damage an enemy good gamer can you summon unlimited sea beasts guys uh based on my experience i can only summon three sea beasts at a time again three sea beasts and yes there you go we can damage an enemy other players okay using our sea beast bad oh wait what if he kills the enemy will this become our bounty or not check it out and boom no guys <laughs> it's our sea beasts bounty <laughs> so for grinding gamer nom let's try it there you go we are here at the graveyard island let's summon a sea beast unfortunately guys i tried but it seems that we cannot damage mobs using the sea beast i don't know why guys but we can damage other players maybe this will be a cheat code check this out sea beast is about to use there you go guys see that no damage hmm so guys, what do you think? Is this a glitch? Or are you able to damage enemies? I mean mobs using your CBs? Comment it in the comment section. And for some video requests, just comment it in the comment section. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll be posting more Bloxworks videos. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters. I really appreciate you all. Again, this is GamerNom. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.